far as images go, these will never escape Nick Kern's mind. It's hard to think that we're lucky to be in this situation, but in reality, we really are. Kern's lucky because his wife Sarah wasn't killed when Christopher Benter's pickup crossed the center line on US 50 in Addiston and hit her head on. At the time, detectives said drugs were likely involved. No charges have been filed because investigators are waiting for lab results. You hope that it's a completely unavoidable accident that you hear stories and rumors. Five years ago, Chris Benter pleaded guilty to having a loaded handgun in his car illegally. Police said he was high on marijuana. In 2014, Benter pleaded guilty to heroin possession. Because he was convicted of low-level felonies, Benter was sentenced to community control. In my mind, it's just another word for probation. It's another word for not incarcerating somebody. In late March, Benner collided with Sarah Kern, a new mom on her way to work. In a strange twist, Sarah's husband works as a Hamilton County probation officer who knows the system. It's a lot more complicated than what anybody, you know, and for lack of a better term, any civilian who's not in that realm would understand. But more and more people think the system is broken. You know, remember California you used to have the thing, three strikes and you're out? Well, right now in Ohio, it's like eight, nine strikes and you're still in. Take the case of Robert Easton. Last year, police charged Easton, a convicted sex offender with dealing heroin and fentanyl. He pleaded guilty to aggravated drug trafficking, a fourth degree felony. Easton's sentence, community control, even though just two weeks ago, Ohio Governor John Kasich was talking tough about going after dealers. If you're a heroin trafficker, we don't expect you to be you know, kept locally. In fact, we'll lock you up and we'll make you stay there for a long time. Easton ended up under arrest again in January, charged with 23 new counts, ranging from heroin trafficking to gun charges. To say the president of Cincinnati's Fraternal Order of Police is fed up is an understatement. We have people dying on the streets because of the fact that right now the, the, the crime and punishment system is not working. Dan Hills points to this incident in March. Watch as police body cameras capture Damian McRae shooting Cincinnati police officer Kenneth Grubbs outside an apartment in Walnut Hills. Despite pleading guilty last fall to three counts of drug trafficking, including heroin, McRae was back on the streets. He faced four years in prison, but once again, the nonviolent, low-level felonies meant McRae received community control. Let's not say that trafficking in heroin is nonviolent. If we've got examples of these people coming in of the system and moving out and being back on the street, Sarah and this, selling this poison to anybody, including our children, it's got to change. And we will change it. Believe me. And we'll be watching to see if the governor and the legislature do take steps to enhance penalties for drug dealers. As for how big this problem is, well, more than a month ago, I asked Hamilton County for records showing how many drug traffickers are sentenced to community control, but no one really tracks that data currently, and I'm told my request is still weeks from completion. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.